I'm sorry. Twitch whispers. Okay, no, 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 no. Red flags everywhere. Red flags everywhere. I just got out of a 60 hour Elden Ring DLC coma and I woke up to what I think is the biggest YouTube live streaming news of the year. And of course, this has to do with a doc. And although you might have heard about this situation. I'm sorry. I just want to know what he's wearing. Like, it doesn't look bad. I, I just like, I feel like I, I, I like, I, you know me. Like, I, all my friends are like engineers. Like, everybody's always in like a freaking t-shirt, you know? Like, I don't see guys like wearing a lot of stuff. What is he wearing? It's interesting. Okay, I'm moving on. That's not the point. There have been some major updates that happened just today. So let me catch you up to speed on what's happened. Now, this has to do with the alleged reason why Doc got banned off of Twitch four years ago. And Doc is a four years? streamer, right? Just for your understanding, he's been around for over a decade. I remember finding out about Doc like 13 years ago when he did the Machinima March Madness contest to find the best premier directors. Old school thing. He went up against my I don't know who this guy is. So, so I mean, I know Ludwig. I don't know I who Doctor contest disrespect went on to is, be so. again like the face of Twitch for a while. And even after he got banned off Twitch, which did stifle his growth, he is still today one of the biggest YouTube gaming streamers. Because YouTube gaming streamers is dominated by non-English speaking countries: Japan, Indonesia, Brazil. And the Doc cracks top ten constantly. I would say he's the second biggest English speaking YouTube live streamer, just behind I Show Speed. So massive. Uh, but he probably would be bigger if he didn't get banned on Twitch. And although he's been banned for over four years, nobody knew why he got banned until a whistleblower tweeted out, he got banned because he got caught sexing a minor in the then-existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon, the powers that could be read in plain text. I'm sorry. Twitch Whispers? I, that's the medium in which he... Ch uh this is why I don't open mine, but like, really? Like not even like Instagram, it's it's Twitch whispers. I'm sorry, this is not important, but like, I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm shook. Case closed gang. And this comes from Cody Connors, who was a former director of strategic partnerships at Twitch. So a pretty verifiable spot to have been to maybe have this information. Not saying it's true or false, but that at least would make sense why this person would know that. And I wanna preface now, Cody is by no means the perfect whistleblower, and I would not use his character to verify whether this info is true or not. I would rather look at the responses from the parties involved because that makes a little more sense. And I say that because it's been proven that Cody used this information about him knowing why Doc got banned to, like, meme pump up sales to his, like, side show with his band. Uh, I, uh, if this show sells out, I'll 100% explain why uh, we banned him during the set. You know, stuff like that. Uh, which is pretty fucked up after then doing the thing and revealing the information, right? Because, like, was this true? Was it a meme? It feels like it's a meme, but but not a cool thing to do. Uh, but let's talk about the content of what it is, right? Because even if the whistleblower's character can be thrown out, the content of what he said, if it's true, doesn't fucking matter about that guy's character, right? If, if this actually happened. Yeah. Uh, and it is a bold claim. He got caught sexting a minor. That's that. That's fucking. That's pedo shit. That's that's a big fucking deal. You should not be on any platform if that is true. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are reading that and poking fun at the fact that Twitch whispers were allegedly used. Yep, which is fucking fair. That's <laughs> that was my first reaction. That is the case, but I think there's something more important to note, which is that if that's how they found out, then Twitch was reading the messages used on Twitch oh, whispers. Shit, which means you have no privacy there. In fact, you don't really have privacy anywhere, even with your own internet service provider. And after Cody tweeted out that I information, mean, there's a few journalists who backed him up saying that that's the story that they also heard. And not just heard recently, but have known for the past few years. Nathan Grayson tweeted out, without revealing all my sources, I can say this is not the first, second, or third time that I have heard this to be the case. Slasher even tweeted out, I didn't lie. And Slasher had a meme tweet right around when Dr. Disrespect got banned that said, for several hours, I've been told from credible sources the reason why he got banned. So for four years, there are people who know that is the reason why Twitch banned Doc. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that the allegations are true, but it does mean that that is likely the reason why Twitch banned Doc. And I think Doc himself verified that information. Doc replied to this because it became a fast developing news story. Uh, and he replied to Jake Lucky's tweet, uh, giving some, some attention to it and said, Jake, seriously, I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the whole contract. And that instantly got shitted on. 
No wrongdoing was acknowledged. This motherfucker did that shit. Connor fucking quintuple ratioed. Everyone is dunking on the doc because the language was very legalese. And if someone's saying, hey, man, we think you sexed a minor, the more human response would be like, no, I didn't fucking do that. That's yeah. crazy. And his response was, no wrongdoing was acknowledged. Yeah, Which I'd be like, I, I didn't weird. do that shit. What are you talking it about? You fucking crazy slander, like slander. So he sent a follow up just tweeting out uh, uh, instead of being a reply that said, listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can't say since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal, no wrongdoing was found, and I was paid Elden Ring Monday. Basically, hmm. I did uh, 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 nothing wrong. No wrongdoing was found. I'm not talking about it anymore. I don't, I don't want to have to address this. Uh, and this can be verified because a couple of years ago, Doc on a stream said this about the ban situation. Can't talk about it. This is but what he looks like? Do, do you know the reason? Oh, yeah, I do know the reason why now. I've known for months now the reason why. The mustache? Well, that's right that's now, real? Kids. Is the mustache real? Why oh, it's a wig? Oh, okay. <laughs> we're suing the fuck out of him. Okay. Oh, it's a costume? Uh, this is my first time seeing it. him, so... The amount of damages and, and <sighs> you just don't... No. No. So, basically, he found out he wanted to sue them. He did sue them, and the lawsuit was successful. I feel like with that information from the doc and the verification from the journalists, that is the reason why Twitch banned doc over four years ago. It doesn't mean that it's true, but they had enough belief to go off of that to ban one of the biggest streamers on the platform. And I feel like there's two ways to interpret it from here. The first one is that they were wrong, okay? He, he actually did nothing wrong and they had to pay him out the entirety of his contract for falsely banning him. Or this I feel like, I feel like Twitch wouldn't go out of their way to ban one of their biggest streamers unless they really thought he did something wrong because why, why would they shoot themselves in the foot like that, right? Like they get they make money off of him like banning him hurts them you know what i mean so second one is that they did find it it might have been true the allegations are true but it didn't technically breach contract so they still had to pay him out because he did win the settlement after all uh now there was uh, a couple of other beliefs charlie made a video about this 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 story obviously blew up and he he, he uh touted this theory that a lot of people have the theory i subscribe to and the most commonly accepted theory for why he was banned was that it must have been some kind of big contract dispute. This time period was a- And he goes on to say that this was like- Can I just say that I'm watching someone, watching someone in a video. Like, I, I just realized how weird that looked. Maybe Doc was arguing, or sorry, negotiating a contract with Mixer, and he wasn't allowed to do that because he had a contract with Twitch. A lot of people thought that might have been the situation. W one hole I'd like to poke in this theory, which yeah, makes cat, me that's further mind that blowing. he actually did get banned for the reasons that were given, uh, is because he also got banned by Discord the same exact time he was banned by Twitch, which wouldn't really make sense uh, unless there was some automatic banning of Discord if you lost Twitch partnership. Maybe I could see that. But Discord did have a spokesperson that said, we hold our partners to a higher standard than typical users, uh, and Discord partners must abide by our code of conduct, which to me doesn't really mean like, oh, well, he just lost Twitch partnership, so we got rid of it. I don't know. That, I don't feel like that theory is true. I don't, I don't put much weight into that. Uh, so where does that leave us? I want to see Doc these whispers. Right? I, need to like see. I need they, to see. I need to see. I want the receipts. Uh, we thought are we, we going to see this in the video or no? Today, Do we have the receipts or no? The Elden Ring DLC. And this is how we open the stream. For those that are looking for me to expand on this weekend, not gonna. I already said. I'm so glad you guys told me this what is a I costume because this guy looks like a clown. I don't give a fuck about this guy. That's it. And then he basically shrugs it off. So, not going to talk about it. You know, fuck the guy who posted this moving on from this entire thing. And to be honest, I thought this is where it was going to die. And I wasn't going to make a video about this because you are basically having to deal with a word against word with zero evidence that will likely be provided. Because I don't think uh, Doc is going to provide any documents. You know, if he's innocent, there's no documents to provide. I don't think Twitch is going to say anything about this. They probably just want to fucking move on from it entirely. They already had to pay out millions of dollars. Uh, that was until, however, the company, the AAA studio that Doc was a founder of, 
tweeted out this. Now this is a company called Midnight Society. They're working on some shooter game that was like really heavily uh, supposed to be marketed by the doc. And they said, on Friday evening, we became aware of al an allegation against one of our co-founders, Guy Bean, which is Dr. Disrespect's real name. We assumed his innocence, key start. We assumed his innocence uh -oh. and began speaking with parties involved. And in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and, the indiv and individuals, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam immediately. While these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept it, it is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially the 55 developers and families we have employed along with our community of players. Which is a fucking big statement. Yeah. Because this is someone from a, a group. He's from, a co-founder. This is like the people that Dr. Disrespect works with, co-founded the company with. And they have some extra information that the public, we are not privy to because they spoke with parties The guy's involved. name is Guy, and yes. came to the conclusion, <laughs> starting with the belief of Doc's innocence, that it is better, it's more in their self-interest, to terminate their relationship with basically the guy who was going to guarantee their game was at least a little bit successful because he was going to market all of it. Which is a big fucking decision to make. Doc was actually live streaming right before this tweet was dropped. And people think this is the exact moment where he found out he was going to be let go by Midnight Society. Y you know how we run things. Here. They didn't tell him first? They didn't give him a heads up first? Oh man, now I wish he wasn't he takes wearing a look glasses. Down. Maybe he's reading something. Maybe he just gets weirdly sullen. Oh, I wish he wasn't the wearing glasses. Emotional here. damage of Elden Ring, but. Right after this. He also goes into more detail about how he might want to leave content creation as a whole. Champs, I'm going to call it right there. A little short one. We've accomplished some things, but uh, I think more importantly, we need to... Somebody in the comments said run for office. Step away. Kind of goes on to say that he's going to step away, not just like for the day, but kind of take a break from social media and content creation. And then he says this about Midnight Society. Either have to relay this to the Midnight Society, but I... You know, maybe I step away from there too. Just completely remove myself from the scene. And he throws in this like little like. Wait, guys, hey, I just noticed I'd he has also, a Red Bull. You know, not just step away from Mike. content creation, but even How step cool away is that? from I want Midnight one. Society. You know, kind of throws that I in there. I want one. I love Red Bull. Which is much different language than Midnight Society throughout. I might be reading into this. This might be conspiratorial, but this is my theory, okay? I feel like Doc was tipped off that he was going to be let go from Midnight Society and wanted to, instead of getting fired, bow out by saying, hey, I'm going to quit and, and step away. Mm. But Midnight Society did not allow him to do that. Uh. I mean, this is very clear language. We are terminating our relationship with Guy B. We're breaking not up with Guy you. Beam is stepping away not the other way due around. Due to the controversy that has happened. We are terminating our relationship. Yeah. That, that, is a, that is a world of difference in my mind. Yeah. And I believe that Doc Livestream came before this tweet. You are came not out. getting a rose. So I think he might have been trying to jump the gun with some extra information he had. Uh, but, but it has now led to a situation where his innocence has come into, I think, a lot more question. So where does that leave us? Well, with a whole lot more questions than answers. But I don't think we're going to get a definitive answer to this situation. It's not like a document Doc can show to prove innocence, and the burden of proof to show that he's guilty would be like the Twitch Whisper chat logs, if they exist. Yeah, I, I want to see those. high enough at Twitch are going to become whistleblowers to leak them. I There's no way Twitch those. would do that because they're just trying to rake in bread and stay out of any drama. So what do we do? A lot of people online are saying, well, hey, man, innocent until proven guilty. And that is true. I'm a red-blooded American, baby. I believe that. However... Innocent till proven guilty in a court of law does not mean innocent from judgment. Mm -hmm. And for being real with ourselves, which is kind of we fucked judge up. all the damn time without any proof. Yeah. Certified pedophile Drake. It's not like a document showing he's a pedophile. Yeah, he's done some weird things, but there's no evidence. It's just a judgment based off of character. We do it all the time with politicians. Every single presidential candidate in like the past 20 years, we have done that exact same thing with made judgments before they've necessarily been proven in a court of law to be guilty of those judgments. Because we have to. We have to fucking vote off those judgments. Mm -hmm. So this is the same situation here. The only thing I would say to you is make those judgments yourself. Don't go off what I say. Don't go off what Charlie says. Don't go off what, don't go off what Doc says. You know, Look into it. See what you see. Read what you read. Look at the first, second, third party witnesses. And then make a call. 
All right, that's all you have to do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I is he not going to tell us what his call is, is though? Wait, he never even said what his call is, though. Like, he never even said what he thought, like, what he believed. Okay, so first video. Yeah, I need a, I need the second video before I, like, give my full thoughts. I need the second video first. Um, but I'm surprised. I mean, like, I, I like Ludwig. Um, he's, like, he's a smart dude. I like watching his videos. But he never even told me what he thought. Like, I liked at the end how he was like, oh, you know, check all your sources and then come to your own conclusion. But I still want to know what you think, man. The fuck? Smart guy has caused part of the comments. Yeah, Yesterday that's why. That's why I want to know. The reason why Doctor Disrespect was banned off of Twitch, and today we have a major update because we know the actual reason, and not because of some third-party report or. Wait, did anybody watch this already? If you watch this, right? D did can anyone tell me? Do we have the receipts in this video? Because I know, I know, Shallow said we don't have the receipts for the first video, right? We don't. We still don't have the the whispers, right? No. Okay. No. Okay. Crap. No one does. Crap! I really want to see... Obviously, Twitch can read our whispers. But I want to know how they found it, one. And how did they, like, know that she was a minor? You know what I mean? Like, I, like on Twitch, I think you have to be 13 to be on Twitch, right? But, like, people lie all the time about their age. And then, like, how did... Oh, the victim reported it? Oh, okay. Well, that makes a lot more sense. The girl came forward? Okay, 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 okay. Then that makes... Oh, uh, banned three years. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, I was gonna say, cause like, I, I know that like, you know, like Facebook, Instagram, like any social media platform, I'm sure their employees can get to my um, private messages if they wanted to, right? But like, I'm just assuming like, it's not somebody's job to sit around and monitor messages every day. So that makes a lot of sense. Okay, second video. Yesterday, I made a video about the alleged- His hair is ridiculous. Like, I want today, his hair. We have a major update because we know the actual reason. And not because of some third-party report- Man, he's really making me want to drink Red Bull. I have Red Bull in my fridge. Should I get one? Like, I see the Red Bull. I want to drink a Red Bull. Like, this is good sponsorship. This is good advertising. Or, or uh, whistleblower on Twitter. You should have seen article. when he shaved his head. Why would he shave his head when he has this the hair? Himself. The doc has dropped a huge tweet He's about He's sponsored by Red Bull. Band. Yeah, no shit. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out yesterday's video. But the skinny is that there's a former Twitch employee. Who so Synergy, so? It's because he got caught sexing a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. Which still exists, by the way, Twitch Whispers. I mean, no one uses it, but it, it still is around. So I don't know why it's then existing. It's still um, Just to let you guys know, I won't go into details, but like, Twitch whispers. I've gotten some really creepy offers on there. This is the doc's tweet. It is massive. All right, so I'm gonna paraphrase. Oh my god, he wrote an essay. Saying, hey, let's cut the fucking bullshit. I keep it a hundred. I always accept responsibility, and that's what I'm doing here today. And today, I want to start out by apologizing to Midnight Society, aka the game studio that I co-founded. Uh, a lot of people were uh, uh, sad at Midnight Society, left in the dark. We made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. We'll talk about that in a moment. We? Uh, the team is very ambitious, talented. I hope they do well. Uh, now, everyone's been wanting to know why I got banned from Twitch. I couldn't talk about it until the Twitch employees disclosed the accusations. Now I can tell you my side. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. They were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Okay, no, 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 no. Red flags everywhere. Red flags everywhere. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy, a lengthy arbitration uh, uh, with, regarding a civil dispute with uh, Twitch that resulted in uh, the case being resolved by settlement. I said that he won the case yesterday. That was wrong. It was a settlement. He earned money from the settlement, but he did not win the case. Uh, they just both. Oh no! This, just oh no! no wrongdoing or something. I don't know. Let me be clear: it was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been uh, brought against me. No, no, no! That one line does not sit well with me. The what, what, what was it? These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. What do you mean nothing more? That's already bad. Why are you talking to a minor? Talk to some. How old is he? Does anybody know how old he is? Like what? What the fuck is that sentence? What is that sentence? I, it's like it's like it's like we didn't. I didn't touch her, but like all that happened was like we we were sexting. That's it. Like what? 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 He's forty two. Like forty. Okay. He, oh, he was thirty five. Bro was at least double her age. Yeah. What? Like. 
like this sentence basically said I didn't touch her, but we sexted, which is still not okay. Um, right? It was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been uh, brought against me. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll take the responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations, aka I should not be talking to a minor Duh. when I was. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I have it somewhere. Uh, oh, uh, seven years ago, 35 years old. I'm not, I should not have been talking to a minor when I was clarifying it. He was 35 years old. Um, how old was uh, she? I want to know how old happened. she was. I'm how old perfect, was she? Does anyone know? I fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Yeah. Okay. Understatement. He is a husband and a father? What? He's married? Oh my god, this is so- Oh my god, his poor wife. Oh my- His poor- He's a hus- Oh, no, 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 Oh, no, oh, no. It's so much worse when he's married. Because to me, it's like, oh, you're not just fucking embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing- like, your whole fucking fit. Oh my god, this is so- If- You know that Sabrina Carpenter song I've been obsessed with? The please, please, please? This- this- this is- this is the kind of behavior we're begging you guys to- Like, stop fucking embarrassing us in public, I This is the shit! Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Did anybody find out how old she was? Um... If she was a minor, she was seven. Well, sure, of course, seventeen or minor, but uh, but seventeen or under for sure. But I, I'm still curious. Um, Twenty seventeen is when he cheated on his wife and apologized on stream. Ugh. He has a whole video crying. Ugh. Uh, look up Doctor Disrespect cheating video. Check it out. Okay, yeah, maybe after this one, maybe after we finish this. Um, but I didn't know he had a wife. That makes the whole thing so much worse. He said, and he's a father. Does he have a daughter or a son? I mean, like, it doesn't even matter because it's horrible either way. Like, if you have a daughter, it's like, oh, look, my dad's a creep. And then, like, if you have a son, it's like, oh, look, my dad's a creep. Like, your, your, da your dad is still a creep. Oh, this is, oh, no. Ah! Sorry, I'm, I'm so, I don't know why it just hits different when he's single versus, like, married with a kid. Like, like to me, it's like, like, being like hitting on a minor is bad no matter what, right? But like, it's like a, it's like it's bad no matter what. But it's like now like you're not just fucking embarrassing yourself, you're not just hurting yourself, you're hurting other people that had nothing to fucking do with anything. You know what I mean? Oh my, this is oh this oh, oh I'm upset. Um, let's see. It's crazy because he cheated in 2017, and that's also when he was messaging this minor. Oh, wait. He cheated with someone else in 2017? Oh, what? So this is like another... So he... Oh, so he had sex with someone in 2017. And that's separate from this texting the minor thing? Oh, no. Oh, no. So he apologized on stream for cheating on his wife, but with someone else. Like, this is like a separate... Oh, my... Okay. Oh, I, I can't even. Um... Oh, fam comes with a, oh fame fame comes with a price sure sure but like this is not this is not this is not stuff like you should not be hitting on minors when you're married with a child even if you weren't famous this is just like stuff you should not be doing um doctor disrespect touched my ass in a twitchcon bathroom I cried in the stall for hours wait for real if you're serious, I'm. If, if you're serious, I'm sorry. But if you're trolling, <laughs> now with all that being said, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator or pedophile. Are you kidding me? Uh, anyone who truly knows me knows that where I stand on those things with those types of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I hate even hearing about. Don't label me as the worst with your exaggerations. I, it's not an exaggeration if you are 35 years old talking to a minor. He literally, in the paragraph before, literally just said some of our conversations leaned to, like, inappropriate. Like, you literally just admitted to sexting a kid. Like, wh what? We don't know, all right? Someone half your age. Guaranteed half your age. 
just that's crazy to say. It's guaranteed because it couldn't have been 18, so they had to be half your age. You were talking to them in a way that you yourself called inappropriate. Okay, we continue though. We digress. Yeah, he used the word um, inappropriate. Uh, that's why Twitch made a decision in 2020 to ban the doc. Okay, it was because of those messages. To the team, the community, the industry friends, I apologize. I wish I said this all sooner. Uh, you showed me a lot of love, yada, yada. No, 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 no. He didn't say he wished he said this all sooner. He said, I wish I could have said this all sooner. I don't really understand the legal stuff, but okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just give him the benefit of the doubt for the legal stuff. Uh, and then he Fine. says to the haters, uh, I don't give a fuck about you. And then ended off by saying, I'm going to take an extended vacation with my family and I will be back. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. I will be back. Okay, he's going to continue making content after all. I don't know why the end of that reminded me of that Nicki Minaj song where she goes into that. Uh, not Nicki Minaj. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, it is that. What, what, what's the song? What's the song? Where she's like, uh, they need rappers like me. I don't know why that reminded me of that. All this. Now, let's break down this very long tweet because there are a few things that, that first off, are worth noting. The first one is that he edited this tweet. I read you the original version, but for a brief period, oh, about 10 it? minutes or so, he edited the tweet, which is a feature you can do when you Say have uh, Twitter Blue or X Blue, the everything app. And he said, uh, no, uh, uh, he changed it from where were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor to were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual. He removed <gasps> the word minor Ooh. and then brought it back because everyone saw that he removed the word minor. That's this is a all big... tracked, by the way. You can see all this on Twitter. Oh. This, is, this is verifiable. Uh, so that was just, that's weird. That's like a horrible optic mistake and failure. Uh, but but that's not really what worth noting. I think what's worth noting are some of the things in the statement that I find to be maybe a bit uh, odd, okay? Um, the first one is that he says, I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything I can be. One thing that I find weird is that right around the time Doc got banned, uh, which was June 24th or 6th, I think June 26th he got banned in 2020, he was very adamant that he did not know why he got banned. Yeah, he kept saying, that's what you guys said, right? I don't know right? why I got banned. And he said that for, for months. It wasn't until almost a full year later that he said he actually knew the reason why he got banned. I think that was a lot. Okay, I think... I think that Doc knew the reason why he was banned. Uh, he might not have thought that it conflicted with his contract. Like the, co the conversations weren't necessarily a breach of contract, so he doesn't know why they went with the decision to ban him. But I think he knows why they did it. You know what I mean? Like it didn't necessarily breach, but he knows why they were doing it even if it didn't breach. Uh, so that's one thing that I find a little bit weird. The next part is, is uh, this. The, the Midnight Society Game Studio. Mm-hmm. He says here that a lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened uh, yesterday with Midnight Society and I. We made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. <laughs> now, the tweet from Midnight Society did not feel like a stepping down. It felt much more like a kicking firing. off. Because yeah. if you read their tweet, it basically said it's like that, I didn't get uh, dumped. After looking at the facts, we both wanted to take this break. We, Midnight Society are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam. Not we are letting Guy Beam We down, both right? wanted to see other people. Announced that he was leaving, and he also had to end his stream abruptly. And what's more proof is Robert Bowling, who is, uh, if you guys don't know, the head of the studio, said, this is a statement for me personally. It does not reflect any of the companies and has not gone through any legal or PR approvals. If you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you, period. I promise to only act on facts, and I did. That's not stepping down. Mm -mm. This is the head of the studio. That sounds like he did not want to work with Doc mm -hmm. based off the information he saw and the facts that he saw, which I think is a very uh, tough decision that he made and also the fucking right decision uh, that Robert made. Uh, so so that, that, that conflicts to me. There's something I want to talk about, though, that I feel like not a lot of people are mentioning. How did Twitch know about these messages? Yeah. Like, how do they know? The, most people are assuming, including me yesterday, that, well, it's the Twitch Whispers product. And so you're not secure on that. Twitch might have been, like, reading through or it might have been flagged through some automated system. And then Twitch looked at it and saw it was a partnered streamer and then took action. But I actually don't think that's the case anymore. I think we know the actual reason. I think it's true that you aren't safe messaging on Twitch, Whispers, much like you're not even safe browsing with your internet service provider. Yeah, they know, know what ports you watch. I need to thank the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. Oh.
Nord's been a long time sponsor. I already Today, have a VPN. Using for a long time. For okay, what? I'll play it just so I can read the comments real quick. My internet service provider. Look, it's not a secret that occasionally I need to, let's say, download a retro video game. But some companies don't like when you do that, and they'll shut off your internet if they find out. I own the game. I just want to play it on my computer. So if I use NordVPN, it'll hide what I'm doing from my ISP. I'm sorry, I already I'm have a Nord VPN. Football team that I grew right now, they have a huge eSIM card. Touch mogulmail.com. I was going to make another mogul mail today, but this story elevated. So back to the actual story at hand. So there's two questions we need to answer. The first one is how did Twitch know about these messages? And the second one is why did they wait so long to ban him? Because these messages happened in 2017, according mm -hmm. to Doc's account. He didn't get banned until 2020. What was that three year gap? Why did it happen? And I think the answer to both of these questions are answered in a Bloomberg article that was dropped earlier this morning. It came about like two hours before the doc's tweet, and it came from a very reliable journalist, Cecilia, who had a couple of Wait, sources. Wait, this I'm made it this on paragraph. Bloomberg? The reason for doc's management on Twitch were never given. Wow. Three people with knowledge of the matter said that Guy Beam, aka the doc, was removed because he exchanged sexually explicit messages with a minor through the services direct chat feature Twitch Whispers. We know this. He also asked a minor about her plans at the TwitchCon convention. Okay, interesting. So According he wanted to, to meet her in person. And then the final sentence, I think this one's the kicker. Jesus Christ. A complaint was later filed with Twitch through its reporting system, the two said. A complaint was later filed, a.k.a. somebody who had intimate knowledge of these messages went to Twitch and said, hey, look at these messages. This is fucked up. Yeah. Now, we don't know who it is. We can probably assume. Wow, good for Twitch for actually hey, doing something about it. Right? I thought they would just More ignore it. Not. It was like, given minor. that he's, like, one of the maybe biggest streamers, you know, like, and he's making the money, I thought they would just ignore it. Good for Twitch. Was, or maybe somebody she told about in her life, a parent or somebody that she felt comfortable saying uh, that this happened later on. And it makes a whole lot of sense if that was the case, because then that's why they banned him so much after the messages happened. And I think what supports this further is the date that Doc was banned. June 20. What do you mean he's too big to ignore? I'm saying he's too big to not ignore. Like, egg, like, kicking him off the platform hurts Twitch's bottom line. May 6th, 2020. Which is actually almost four years ago to the day, by the way. Two days before he got banned, June 24th, there was a community update post that Twitch dropped. It said, we want to provide an update on our investigations into the oh, recent shallow, allegations that's a good of point. That's true. involving Twitch streamers. Oh, and unless, uh, maybe that's what JHP meant. That have come to light as quickly as possible while ensuring appropriate due diligence as we assess these serious allegations. Here's the kicker. We've prioritized the most severe cases and we will begin issuing permanent suspensions in line with our findings immediately. Two days after this post dropped, the doc was banned. They go on to say that they're gonna try to improve their tools so this doesn't happen. They can't fix uh, these pervasive issues across gaming and internet communities, but they're gonna do their part to be a leader. Being a leader would be banning one of your biggest streamers yeah. who has broke your policy or your updated yeah, policy. Yeah, good for Twitch. Okay. So that 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 to me it explains everything. So where does that leave us? Well, I think there's still some questions we need answered. Like, did Doc know the age of the person he was talking to when he was talking to them? When he says he didn't meet up with them in person. Even if he didn't know the age, he was not single. Then was that because of his decisions or did the minor become uncomfortable? Is she the one who backed out of the situation? And when he says that sometimes he leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, what the fuck that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. What were the actual content of the message? Yeah, I want receipts. Well, based off the facts, I want the to see the whispers. Objectively true, even the people who are closest to the doc in his life are separating themselves from him, right? People like Robert Bowling, the head of the game development studio, who said, hey, if you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you, right? People like Nick Merckx, who went live today to say this. I don't know him. I can't support this? it. I can't defend it. And uh, he has a nice voice. Look, the boys and I are torn up over it too, man, because we played a lot of games with a guy and, and it feels a little weird, but <laughs> what can you do? You know, and feels a little tab, weird. Man, followed up with this. If he knew that was a minor and those were the messages being sent. What were the messages? I did he get to see the messages support that. So what happens from here? Well, the doc, if he sticks to his word, is going to go on an extended vacation. And when he comes back, will continue to make content. At least that's what he said he would do. And unless he were to get deplatformed by YouTube and every other streaming site. Oh, is that a little kitty cat in the back? I mean, a lot of other YouTubers have done fucked up shit and then just keep making videos. It happens all the time. And I'm sure there's going to be thousands and thousands of loyal fans 
who continue to watch him even after everything that has I'm come just saying out in Asia you'd be like you'd be banned maybe banned separate themselves from the dock but if you really like removed from the to internet try to clear his name like this would not opinion, be an issue and like you, you can't take a vacation like, the people who said he and was back. a minor and prove in the actual courts that he didn't do that but you need like a defamation lawsuit and and show put everything on the table that didn't happen because based off the evidence that everyone is seeing and the actions that everyone's taking it feels like those conversations, if they were to come to light, these are his boys. Oh shit! Really? So it's like if Gia J came on stream be. and said they can't anyway, that's all for me. play with me anymore. DLC now. Like so that's have a good rest that's of your day. bad. Subscribe. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. Thank you for watching. Oh, Goodbye. that's bad. Later. Oh no.